turn you all into runway divas like myself. I'm too sexy for your party, too sexy for your party. No way I'm disco dancing. I'm a model, you know what I mean? And I do my little turn on the catwalk. Yeah, on the catwalk, on the catwalk. Yeah, I do my little turn on the catwalk. Girl, that's so hot, if I was straight, I'd hit that. Um, Ginger? Um, yeah, baby? I just wanted to let you know that this morning when we were in the Clinical Competency Center, yeah, the CCC, I noticed that your sexual history sucked. You and were watching I just, my sexual well, history? Well, I was, and I thought you could use some help, you know, some pointers. I thought maybe you'd like some. I've had an EH in every clinical skills exam baby. I've ever taken. So I'm not telling you something. You're I, fat. No, you're fat. Oh, 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 I said it. Your BMI is probably like 20. Oh, hey, give me that tiara. <laughs> give me that. Today, Ginger and I got in a fight. And I don't know why, because I thought, I thought she was my best friend here. And she's not. And she's not. I thought I, thought I could help her, and she doesn't, she doesn't even want my help. I just mean whatever. I'm not here to make friends. I mean, these girls, they all just want to be best friends. And this is America's next top doctor, not America's next top best friend. I mean, if I gotta take a bitch down, I gotta take a bitch down. One down, 11 to go. Welcome to the judging room of America's next top doctor. Let me introduce you to our amazing judges. Runaway diva extraordinaire, Miss J. Alexander, and top fashion photographer, Nigel Barker, and finally, our top supermodel, Janice Dickinson. Six beautiful doctors stand before me, but only one of you can continue on to be America's next top doctor. But first, I want to tell you and remind you of that fabulous prizes one of you will win. First, an extra month of learning to teach, teaching to learn. Next, $200,000 in debt. Yes. And finally, an entire 12 months of Q2 call during your intern year. Just <laughs> And now, America's next top doctor is